Hey guys, welcome to another official FIFA 18 video captured at the EA Capture event. Thank you to EA for having me out. It was absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed playing FIFA 18 all day. And one of the things that I really wanted to do coming to this event was what I've done for a couple of years in a row. And that is trying to sign the best two players in the game. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Is it possible in FIFA 18 when you start a career mode to sign them? So we are using Manchester United, one of the richest clubs in the game a massive budget of around 130 million if you're looking to sign one of the better players because you need around 500,000 on the wage budget so a lot of money but definitely worth it if you can get Ronaldo or Messi in your squad you're going to be scoring a lot of goals so we went for Cristiano Ronaldo first but unfortunately as I found with a couple of career modes I've already played in FIFA 18 some players are just not up for sale they point blank refuse so what you have to do is simulate six months or play six months, go to the next transfer window, and more often than not, they are available for sale. So instead of going for Ronaldo first, we are going to go for Lionel Messi. Um, actually has been linked away from Barcelona. As you know, they're in a bit of a pickle at the moment. They've just brought in Dembele to replace Neymar. And Messi only has 12 months left on his contract in real life and in game. So it makes it a bit easier to sign him. But can it be possible? Is it possible to sign him? With, uh, not Real Madrid, with Manchester United. So we're going to go ahead and enter negotiations now with the manager of Barcelona. They do not have the official manager, unfortunately, but that doesn't matter too much. Now, this is the new transfer negotiations that you do in FIFA 18 career mode. If you want to check it out in more depth, I've uploaded another video, um, which is on my channel where I discussed how it all works. But it's very simple. You just, you're a lot more personal with the player and their agent and, of course, the manager themselves when you're negotiating a deal. So to sign Messi, I knew I had to offer a lot of money. I wasn't going to offer a player. I just wanted to see how much I had to pay to get him. So his value is £92.5 million. Pounds. I'm going to go ahead and throw in £85 million. Seeing as he's a little bit old now, he's 30 years old, maybe we can get him cheaper. And the fact he's only got 12 months remaining on his contract. So start low and let's see how they negotiate. So as you'd expect, they've actually said no. They wanted £96 million for Lionel Messi, which in my opinion is still an absolute bargain considering that Neymar went in real life for £220 million, which is a ridiculous amount of money. So £96 million for Lionel Messi. I wanted to see if I could bring it down just a little bit. I just wanted to play around with it. But one thing you've got to be careful with, guys, is if you annoy the other manager, if you negotiate really poorly... They can just simply walk out of the room and you cannot go for that same player until the next season. So you really do not want to be putting in any really silly offers. I thought 92 was about right. I had a feeling they would accept it and there you go. So they said that's a fair offer. I'm glad we could reach an agreement. So Lionel Messi, 92 million, not too bad. Easily affordable for Manchester United in uh, FIFA 18. They've got a lot of money to spend. So now, of course, that means we have unlocked the possibility to negotiate with Messi personally. We're going to be talking to him and his agent. So here he comes into the office. It's great to see you. Thank you both for coming. Have a seat, please. As if you're going to talk to Messi like that. You're going to, you're going to ask him to sign your forehead, aren't you, really? Um, just joking. Right, so this is the really tricky part. In the past, in FIFA career modes, it's always the wage that seems to be the problem with signing Messi and Ronaldo. They want ridiculous amounts of money. He's currently on 500,000 per week. He wants a crucial squad role, so I'm happy to accept that. He will play every game when he's fit, of course. We don't want to be playing in maybe the lower rounds of the FA Cup, but if we were going to be playing in Champions League, he'd be straight in. So, crucial first team player absolutely fine now we need to discuss the length now you need to be careful here if you offer them five years they're probably going to reject it because they're 30 years old i think ronaldo's 32 so i wanted to play it safe here and go kind of in the middle go with three years and let's see if Lionel messi is happy to extend his career by a further three years who knows he might want to retire after barcelona so at this point offering him three years seemed to be a safe option and they go ahead and accept it Lionel messi with a little smile there and his agent confirms that's fine. He doesn't speak, of course, Messi. He does not open his mouth. Messi does not speak. He is way better than you and does not speak to you. <laughs> My client isn't considering as adding a release clause to his contract. We assume that suits you. So at this point, I thought that's absolutely fine by me. I do not want a team like Man City, PSG swooping in and just paying the, uh, the release clause and stealing him from me. So we're not going to go ahead and release a release clause or add a release clause, sorry. We're not going to be looking to uh, to lose him, that's for sure. 
So we are now going to move on to the finances. This is going to be interesting. He's actually asked for 420,000. That's less than his current wage at Barcelona. And when I saw that, I was so pleased. It seems like they fixed it. Older players these days don't often get more when they move to a club. They get less because they're not as good as they once were. That might not be the case in some ways. I think Ibrahimovic actually got more. I'm not sure if that's true or not with Manchester United. But in this case, Messi's happy to take it down a notch. So I'm going to offer him 420,000. I'm going to reduce his signing bonus just a little bit. Let's see how much room we can wiggle with there. And he wanted 22.7 million for 20 goals scored. So I'm going to reduce that down. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going to make it to 25 and I'm going to reduce the amount down to 15.5. So a lot cheaper and let's see if they accept it. That is still a lot of money. We're talking a lot of money here for a player that is still in the best in, in the best of his career. He's probably one of the best players in the world and will be for another few years. Let's see if they go ahead and accept it. And there you go. He's eager to join your club and 420,000 was a good number. I wish I tried going down a little bit. I was just really worried that I would, you know, blow the deal and that he would walk out. So uh, unfortunately, we were not able to get Ronaldo starting off here, but we do have Lionel Messi and he goes straight into the team. As you can see here, some of the ratings for the Manchester United squad. Leo Messi is 93. Leo Messi is 93 rated, so very decent. He's a one club player, I saw. Um, still a one club player, but clearly didn't seem to be too difficult to bring him away from Barcelona. So that's Messi done. Not too expensive, under 100 million, but of course it was rising as he scored goals. It was always going to be a bit more expensive over time. And now we're going to go ahead and try and sign Ronaldo. So I simulated into January, into the January transfer window. He is 32 years old, a value of 86 million. And finally, Real Madrid are happy to negotiate. They've probably brought in another left winger or maybe Asensio. They're happy with him and they're willing to lose Ronaldo to keep Asensio in the first team. So here we go. 86 million is the current value. How much is Ronaldo going to be? Surely he's going to be cheaper than Lionel Messi. Now, I was very cautious here, but 40 million was all I had. This was after signing Messi. I just wanted to try and see how cheap we could get him and see what kind of reactions Zinedine Zidane would have. So 40 million, leave it or take it. That's all we've got. And he storms out of the room. He's very angry. Look at that. Even shrugs and turns his head away. How rude. He, he was left there like a lost puppy. Poor guy. So unfortunately, the unfortunately that was never going to work. So I started a new career mode. Started again, basically. So we had all of our money back. And I wanted to see if Ronaldo would then be purchasable straight away if it was just randomized. So I've added him to my transfer hub, which is the new area where you use shortlist players. And unfortunately, it was the same issue. He's too important and they don't have enough depth. So once again, simulating six months, we are now in January. He has the same value, 86 million pounds. We've of course got around 130 million to spend. Hopefully we can afford Ronaldo. So here is Zinedine Zidane again. Is he gonna storm out of the conversation once again? Who knows? If you don't mind, allow me to start with an initial offer. So I'm not gonna be offering 40 million. I knew it wasn't gonna get accepted. I just wanted to see what would happen before. In this case, I knew it was going to be around 100 million, but I was still expecting it to be less than Lionel Messi because he's 32 years old. So I went in with a very strong offer of 95 million pounds. Surely that's enough to sign a 32 year old that's already, you know, starting to decline. I saw some of his stats had gone down a little bit, and then they hit me with an absolute bombshell. Zinedine Zidane wanted 159.1 million pounds you have got to be kidding me he's worth a lot more than Lionel Messi and he's older than him it doesn't make sense his rating has gone down from 94 to 93 so of course I was not going to pay 160 million pretty much so I went back in with another counter offer and I decided to add in just around 130 million on the dot and let's see what they say I thought this should be enough even though I'm still not comfortable paying that kind of money for the purposes of this video, I wanted to see how much it would be. So, 130 million. Come on, Zinedine Zidane, you know you want to accept it. He says, I'm sorry, but we believe that Ronaldo is worth more than what you are offering. We are not willing to reduce his price any further. So, there you have it, guys. Ronaldo is going to cost you £159.1 million six months into the first season. Unbelievable amount of money for a 32-year-old. So, 
Although I wouldn't have done this deal um, if I was actually doing this career mode, of course, for the purposes of this video, it was worth going ahead and accepting it just so we could negotiate his contract and see how much that would cost. Now, you'd think he'd be around about the same as Messi because, you know, worth of va value isn't the same as their contract, their wage. And that can go up and down a lot, but he's currently on 500,000, just like Lionel Messi was. Is he going to request 420,000, just like Lionel Messi was? Is he willing to come down? First of all, we need to do his contract. So we need to discuss his importance with the team. I've gone with Crucial. Obvious reasons, Ronaldo gets into any team 100%. So we're going to go ahead and offer him Crucial first team player. He will play every single game when he's fit. And hopefully he's going to go ahead and accept that. There you go. Of course, Ronaldo doesn't speak either. Only, only the agents speak. And um, that's accepted. So crucial first team player. We know how much money he wants per week. The question is, can we actually sign him up cheaper? We're going to go ahead and add as many years as we can to this contract just to see um, you know, how often they accept it. And uh, at this point, I thought three years would be a good amount of time. So the same as Lionel Messi. You can offer five, but I thought that was risky because that would make him 37 when he leaves the club. So three-year contract. I thought that's pretty much the most I wanted to go to. And he is going to go ahead and accept it. Three years is a long time. It's still a good amount of time as a 32-year-old as well. Ronaldo thinks he's going to be playing until he's 40 in real life. So um, he is an athlete. He's very fit. And it wouldn't surprise me if he actually does make it to around that 40 years old mark eight years from now. So we're not going to be adding release clause either. I don't want one of the other rich clubs, like I mentioned, PSG, Man City coming in for him, paying his release clause and then losing my investment. So we're going to go ahead and uh, decide to accept that. We're not going to be having a release clause in his contract. So now here, guys, is the interesting part. Lionel Messi was pretty easy to sign. I'm not going to lie, but... They are asking me to offer the money. So at this point, I didn't really know what was a good enough figure. I thought, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to go 420. I'll go 450 and let's see what he says. I'm going to try and reduce that signing on offer as well that we uh, gave to Lionel Messi, just to 3 million. But I am going to give him some extra bonuses. You can see the different types of bonuses you can add here. I'm going to add 25 goals and offer him as much as I can, pretty much. My full budget maxed out there to 7 something. We're going to go down to 6.5 million. And uh, that's that's going to be enough, hopefully, to persuade him to join. It's still a really nice offer. 450,000, 3 million signing bonus, and 6.5 million if he scores. 25 goals for the club. Very simple. And I think that that is a very fair offer. He would be getting paid more than Lionel Messi. And there you go. He has accepted it. So you are able to sign Ronaldo and Messi relatively easily. I'd say Messi is easier to sign than Ronaldo, which doesn't make sense to me, seeing as he's a one-club player and he's younger. Um, but Ronaldo does join up. Can you imagine if uh, Man United actually did sign him this summer? That would have been absolute madness. Look at those stats, by the way. That's after declining to 93. So uh, he would have had even better stats. But there you go, guys. I can confirm it's possible. You pretty much cannot sign Ronaldo in the first transfer window. But if you simulate to the transfer window in the winter, it was easier to sign him. They were able to actually negotiate with me. And Lionel Messi is really, really simple to sign. You just need a hell of a lot of money. But thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support. I'm uploading a lot of FIFA 18 content over the next few weeks. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like on the video. And I will see you next time.